Which shoe do you like more, the Grinch or the Reverse Grinch? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys an in-depth review of the Kobe 6 Reverse Grinches. I'll be unboxing the shoes and giving you guys a side-by-side -side comparison just so you guys can see the differences because there are definitely differences in this Reverse Grinch. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! So before we get started breaking down all the styles, cuts, and materials of this shoe, we gotta talk about the history first. Back in 2010, we originally saw Kobe wearing the Grinch Kobe 6s for the classic Christmas game, and the hype train around Christmas themed sneakers with Nike basketball, even Adidas, was starting to run wild, and over time, the Grinch Kobe 6 became one of the most iconic colorways when it comes to Nike basketball during its era. 10 years after that, following Kobe's passing, RIP a legend, we then saw the Kobe 6 Grinch released to the public. And just like back in the Day, there was a lot of hype around this shoe and a lot of new heads coming into the game that were loving the shoe as well which caused what the prices to go crazy next thing you know the shoes worth a thousand dollars so with the high demand behind that sneaker and multiple PEs given to different players on the basketball court in the NBA we then saw the reverse Grinch colorway and multiple other colorways that look similar to this hit the basketball court previously in the last season and when Nike announced they were officially releasing the reverse Grinch colorway everybody went crazy so these are set to drop next month in December and as you guys guys know the demand is going to be insane luckily I was over at untied LA and my homies had got some pairs in early and you know I had to get my hands on a pair to give you guys a review so shout out to them let's go ahead and take it to the studio so you guys can really see the ins and outs of this sneaker so looking at the box right here you can see you have your black mamba print all throughout the box with the texture you can feel it on the lid and throughout the sides that's gonna be in the matte black and then the metallic black on the center of the lid you have the Kobe logo with the Kobe signature on the side of the box nothing right there just a Nike swoosh on the back end and then going to the size tag, it reads Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Bright Crimson Black. And retail on these is set to be 180 bucks. Now lifting open the lid of the box right here, you got your standard all white paper, and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. So initial impressions of this sneaker, honestly, it is a little bit of a switch up when it comes to the pattern on the top, but I'm not mad at it, and I still like these a lot. I don't know if they're good as the Grinches. We'll find out a little bit later in the video on the poll results what everybody else thinks. And after we get done with this comparison, I'll give you guys my final results on what I think as well. So looking at the outsole right here, you have your standard Kobe Pro Tro bottom. You got your translucent outsole on the front end right here in that crimson colorway. And then in the center of the foot right here, you have your black carbon fiber plate. Going to the back end right here, you have a mixture of rubber material colors, I guess you would say. Instead of just having it be all red, it's more speckled throughout that area. And then on the center of the foot right there on the back end of the heel, you have the Kobe logo in the lime green. Now wrapping up to the side of the foot where the outsole is still attached here, there's a little braille code right here. And some people may or may not have seen it before. And most of my OG wizards know, but this actually spells out Black Mamba. So if you Google search Kobe code, you'll see that there's a bunch of different codes that align with different letters. And if you put those codes together, you'll see that it spells out Black Mamba on the side of this shoe. And on his different Kobe models, whether it's the fives, the six, the sevens, eight, you name it, some of them have different codes on them that mean different things. So that's always a fun little Easter egg when it comes to the Kobe sixes. Now going to the back end of the foot right here around the heel, you have your Nike Zoom branding, and then you have a two-tone midsole. So you have more of a crimson and then more of a red right here in the center of the foot, and then crimson on the back end around the heel. Instead of it all just being one color, it helps give the shoe a little bit more depth as well. And when you compare these to the Grinch Kobe sixes, you can definitely see there's a huge difference when it comes to the color blocking because there's actually more of a lighter and a similar color right here on the midsole and on the back end and around the heel it's definitely a drastically different color but if you look at these two right here you can see the heel and the front end are the same exact color so that's just a little switch up that some people may or may not have seen now going up to the upper again there are a couple different switch ups that we see on this pair compared to the previous Grinch colorway I'll get into it in a second but just besides that you have your Kobe scales all throughout the upper this is kind of raised up kind of like a rubbery like material and it's real bumpy all throughout and then you have that little thin mesh right behind it and then on there you have a nice Nike swoosh and all black on the side of the foot on the outside and on the inside of the foot. Now going to the back end of the shoe around the heel, you have more of an iridescent patent leather right here wrapping around, but it's a lot more dull. It's not like a vibrant red, but it definitely has a metallic feel to it as well. And just above that, you have a plastic piece that goes all around the heel capping that off. And then that's going to be more of a translucent crimson colorway. And then you have your Kobe signature right here in the center of the heel. Now these come standard with a pair of lime green laces. And like we have seen on the previous release, those had the same exact type of laces but if you actually put them side by side you can see the colors are way different the actual laces are a lot more yellow and then the shoe this green right here on the side of the foot is a lot more similar to the laces on the reverse Grinch 
Hey, sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you guys know we got some new merch that just dropped for Black Friday. We got some other items on the website and they should be linked down below underneath the video as well. ShopDNAShow.com. If you catch this video on time, you should be able to get a discount on the website because we have a bunch of different sales going on throughout the holidays. If you're catching this video later, again, still check out the website. We probably got some promotion going on. But either way, let's continue on with the video. Now the original release and the previous retro of the Grinch also came with an additional pair of red laces, but these didn't come with an additional pair of red laces. Now just behind that, you have a see-through mesh right here at all red, and then you have a red tongue matching the sock liner with a green Kobe logo in the center of that and a rubber piece. Now taking out the insoles of these shoes, you can see that this is gonna be very similar to the previous retro as well. So when you put them shoes together, you can see this is the inspiration behind the design of how they even innovated to get the shoe that's something like this. And then it's dope because it has the KB24 branding right there as well when it comes to the insoles. Now another thing that I didn't get a chance to mention yet, if you look at the color of the red and the pattern on the area right here in the center of the foot, you can see that it has kind of a gradient to it. So it's a lot lighter on the sides of the foot, on the in and outside. And if you look down the center, there's a darker strip right there. So similar to a snake's pattern, it might have different colors and different shades on different areas of the snake. This is going to be similar to that as well. But if you compare these to the Grinches that recently came out, you can see the pattern on these is a lot different. It's more bright in the middle of the foot and then it kind of gets darker and fades into a darker color on the back end and around the sides of the foot right here. So it's kind of reversed, yes, but the pattern is a lot more prominent on the reverse Grinch compared to the previous retro of the regular Grinch. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, but I do have a couple different sample versions of this as well. And that was one thing that I had talked about in this pair. As you can see, it's a lot lighter right here just around the top of the toe and then it gets really dark right here and then it goes dark throughout the side of the foot and this is a lot more similar to how it's kind of the light dark really really visible type thing but again the pattern is different on this sample from back in the day and then obviously the back end the leather is a lot more metallic -y, it's a lot shinier and there's a lot of other elements there. I got a few different samples. We've done that review in the past. If you want to see that, I'll link that down below in the description as well. That's a better in-depth look at the shoe. Let me know what you guys think of these down below. Now, I'm interested to see what everybody thinks. You guys know on my channel, I love to post a poll and see what the results say. So I posted a simple question. Is this shoe fire or trash? And I also compared these against the Grinches to see which one people like because I don't know. There's a lot of hype around these. This might just be the best shoe out of the two. So if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on IG so you can participate in the polls and see all the results here on the channel this is what the people said 84% of the people said fire and 16% of the people said trash so when I see poll results like that as you guys know if it's past 85% that typically means this is one of the top 10 sneakers of the year. We don't get really good ratings, and if it's above 90, we know that's like top three, top five material, but these are really, really close. So I'm sure a lot of people are hyped up about these, and I know the prices are a little high right now, and they're probably not gonna go down because obviously there's so many different factors as to why this shoe is worth so much, but either way, I'm interested to see, are these better than the Grinches? 33% of the people said the reverse Grinch and 67% of the people said the Grinches. Now, honestly, that's exactly what I was expecting to see. The Grinch has so much more impact on the culture and I get that this is a dope colorway, but we see a lot of red shoes all the time and I know it's clean, I get it, but the Grinches are the Grinches, bro. Like these wouldn't be anything if it wasn't for the Grinch. You know what I'm saying? Plus the 10 plus years with that colorway, like being, it's just hard to beat. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I hope this video was helpful to give you guys an in-depth look at the shoe to let you decide if you want to get it or not. And again, shout out to the homies over at Untied. Appreciate you guys for the review. Make sure you guys go check them out. Link down below in the description. Use the discount code DNA Show. That'll get you guys free shipping on all your orders from their website. They got a lot of steals and deals on there as well. So make sure you guys keep your eyes peeled on that. All right, you guys, we got a lot more reviews to shoot. I'll see y'all in another one. I would never let you down. If you made it to the end of this video, I just want to let you guys know we have a full eight week program. The link is down below in the description. Teaching you guys all the ins and outs of the shoe game. We have monthly live meetups. I do shoe giveaways every single month as well. And if you guys ever need any tips, tricks, or anything when it comes to investing in a real estate, everything is on the inside. You have direct access to me. So again, if you heard of the community before and you want to join, make sure you guys hit the link, get signed up. I'll see you guys on the inside. I can't wait to have you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you on the inside. Listen, my DNA. Hey, bye. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware of. Today. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware of today. I was made for it. It's in